I'm Brian Herring. I'm from uh, Hammer and Hand. Uh, we're doing a uh, remodel up here in Northeast Portland on a circa 1920s house uh, that's uh, settled into the ground a little bit. So we're going to be doing a lot of jacking. We're going to gut most of it, rewire, and change the footprint a little bit too. So coming in, we have gutted the entire first floor. So we wanted to uh, get down to the studs so we can rewire and move the walls a little bit and it'll help out with the jacking, which we're gonna do uh, at a certain point. You can see, if you look straight across this, one of the major things that we have to do to this house is lift this corner back up about three inches. So this corner over here on the left side, if you, if you pan across, you can kind of see how far this drops just in one, can you see that on camera? You can. That's a major issue that we have to address. So we're gonna, it's gonna require a lot of jacking and shimming and beams and footings to just correct what's happened there. Also, if we just stay on the structural stuff, there's two main walls here that carry most of the load for the next floors up. And these have settled in between our, rat, our joists uh, over a period of, you know, a hundred years. I mean, it, it's almost a hundred years, this thing. So we have to actually re-support these two sides of the stairwells to support the two floors above us. Um, it's sagged, and if, you, if you, we sight down the, the walls here and stuff like that, you can see it's just started to wave. It's just sagged to different spots. And uh, uh, we have to correct that. That's, so there's a stages that we're going to have to build our way up on and stuff. This wall gets removed and a beam gets put in here so we can have a flush ceiling all the way to the dining room. And then in the dining room, we're gonna open up this wall all the way across with a beam. So when you come downstairs, you get a, you can walk and you, you opens it up and you can see as you come down the stairs into the dining room. Um, this is a major portion of the whole Remodel is one of the main reasons they want to do this. Initially, it was going to be a bathroom, rem or not a bathroom, a kitchen remodel. And uh, then they decided, as we started looking at it, I mean, removing things, we have the old panel that's in here, which is the old knob and tube. And then we started looking at this, and it's like, well, if you want, we're going to, they wanted to move the wall out and get a bigger kitchen out of the whole thing. So we started looking at stuff, and it was like, oh my gosh, we got to do this, we got to do this, we got to do this. It, was, it became a bigger project than just you know, we had to improve the infrastructure before we could even improve the kitchen on this project. So that's how it started. But then we, so then we started getting into things and started realizing how much of the structure had been compromised in the house and stuff. So in the kitchen, we're doing a, we did a full gut. Um, we have to actually, we haven't got to this point because we have to do some supporting below, but we have to remove all these walls, open this all up, and this actually becomes part of the kitchen. And then the stairwell moves to behind us here, underneath the old, sta or the old stairwell. Um, so then we open this whole thing up and we'll get, do a bank of windows and then cabinets all the way around, a huge island. Um, there's a powder room right behind us here that will uh, get opened up and expanded a little bit. So, um, which will require a whole bunch of plumbing getting moved. Uh, like basically redoing, we're basically redoing all the electrical and all the plumbing and a huge amount of structural stuff on this place. So um, yeah, it's quite a project on that. It all started by a kitchen. We've had to remove all the floors in the, in the house and stuff like that because they want to replace them with uh, oak, solid oak. So this just had the oak veneer flooring with a bunch of underlayment. So we have to remove all of that to get down farther so we can get the, um, Oak back in. Uh, this is Brad. He's one of the hammer hand guys. He's been around for about four years. Makes a mess. Does a good job. <laughs> so we're gonna open that closet into a master closet, which was originally two closets, and they had utilized part of that closet as a laundry, which is gonna get moved again also at, at a at a certain point. Uh, So we're going into the basement and this is where a major part of the structural stuff we're going to be doing. Uh, we're also doing a full gut and remodel in the basement too, adding a bathroom, bedroom, uh, entertainment room and stuff like that in there too. So uh, another big portion of the project. So I mean this is where a lot of our uh, work is going to be done is this whole area. This is the corner in the living room. 
that's dropped about three inches down in here. Uh, so we have to jack that back up and resupport it with footings and everything like that. Uh, that's going to be a major portion of our deal. We're going to um, cut in footings or cut in some beam pockets, send beams through and jack it up with hydraulic jacks. Just this, basically this 20 feet into this corner here because it, it, over the distance, over from like the back corner, which is pretty stable, it's like almost four inches if you count all the way back to this back corner of the house there. And then our other portion of the structural sort of jacking and, and, and major kind of resupporting the house is there'll be, we're gonna do a bunch of footings, redo all our beams, and then we're gonna put beams in to catch the two parallel walls uh, that follow the stairs. And we're also adding a stairwell downstairs. We're gonna eliminate this one behind us and drop a stairwell down in the middle here below the original stairwell upstairs. Posts, footings, there's probably, what did I just order? I ordered 23 beams yesterday at about 100 bucks a foot. Uh, and then also uh, all the posts I ordered. So, I mean, it's, it's about two months just getting at the point where we can actually start the remodel. <laughs> we have to actually fix the structure before we can start the remodel. So then at that point, then we can start rolling into the infrastructure and stuff like that, improving it and making it look good by the end.